Good morning. Well, it's an unbelievable journey that is truly remarkable. A Winnipeg doctor is running up to 60 kilometers a day, that's more than a marathon, across the entire country in the fight against prostate cancer. Dr. Riley Temps joins us now. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. This sounds pretty crazy. Tell us a little bit about your coast-to-coast -coast adventure. Sure. So uh, I started May 7th in Cape Spear, Newfoundland, which is the most eastern point uh, in Canada. And I've been running since then. I run, like you said, 60s uh, kilometers a day. I'm up to 70, 75 kilometers a day now. Uh, so I've made it through seven provinces and passed just over 4,000 kilometers. And now I'm in Winnipeg. Okay. Seriously, though, how is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know, it's just, uh, when I started out I was running about 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers a day and uh, the longer I went, the lighter I got, the fitter I got and uh, now I can run more. Yeah, but like you're a doctor, isn't this dangerous? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. It's, um, it seems to have, everything seems to be going well so far. I haven't had any uh, major injuries. I just got blisters that are all over my feet that don't seem to be going away, but other than that, everything's fine. Yes, we were just joking around about that, that you posted a picture online of your blisters and I said it's too much for morning TV <laughs> because... A little bit, yeah. Yeah, a few blisters along the way. Yeah. So this is all for prostate cancer. It is. Uh, so my dad got prostate cancer in 2007, and he had surgery for it in 2008. And then uh, between then and now, my grandfather died of prostate cancer. And two really close family friends got prostate cancer. So prostate cancer was this thing that sort of thrust itself into my life uh, without asking. And uh, I wanted to do something about it, and I was trying to figure out what I could do. And uh, anytime, anytime I think of cancer, I think of Terry Fox mm -hmm. and his run across Canada. And uh, I thought, you know, that would be incredible, but I, I don't know if it's possible. And then uh, my brother had a friend who actually did run across Canada. And when I found that out, I thought, you know, wow, maybe I can do this. Maybe this is something I can do. Um, but I was living here. I'm doing my medical residency here, like you said. And uh, I was not in the greatest shape of my life. And so I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but uh, so far it's been... It's been working out and it's been great. Yeah, you seem like you're uh, holding up. You're doing okay. Are you anticipating you'll be able to complete it? I am, yeah. So I've done, like I said, I've done over 4,000 and I only have 2,500 left. Oh, that's it. That's it. And <laughs> I, uh, I passed uh, my halfway point just outside of Marathon, Ontario. And uh, as you guys will all know, I passed the uh, center of Canada yesterday wow. on uh, my run into the Forks. Well, congratulations. How Thank do you, you stay motivated? I mean, people train for years to run in a single marathon once a year? Well, um, that's a good question. I mean, it's all I have to do. So I wake up in the morning and I start running. And uh, that's my only job, really, is just to uh, keep going until I get the mileage that I, that I want to hit. And um, really, uh, having this, this run be for prostate cancer and for my dad is, is what's helping me keep going. Well, it truly is an amazing story, and I know you've been documenting videos online, and you are raising money and raising awareness, all that good stuff, on your website, Step Into Action. That we'll have a link to on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. And, of course, on Sunday, people can come and run with you at Assiniboine Park before you take off on your next leg, right? Right. Well, we're going to start uh, here at the Forks, actually. We're going to be at the, uh, the first parking lot when you drive into the Forks, right on your right, across from the Scotiabank stage. And we're running from uh, there to Cinnabite Park on Sunday. So we're all meeting at 9.30 and uh, we're taking off at 10. So come down and join us. 9.30. Okay. Good luck. I don't know if I'll make it there <laughs> with the running bar, but I'll cheer you on from the sidelines. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for coming down here today. For and sure. And it's PG Health for today.